Black powder, used as an explosive, was brought from China to Europe in the 13th century by Marco Polo. It has been, it has been used for war and celebration since. What a pleasure to see you again, Miranda. If I dared, I would tell you that nothing in the world is equal to your beauty, except, perhaps, the harmony of your voice, which makes no sense, because a voice can't harmonise with itself. And if there's only one voice, it can't be a harmony, because that's how music works. You flatter me, my Lord Polo, and yet from what I hear, you have travelled the world as far as China. Did you not then discover anything in those distant lands more fascinating than the singing of a young Genoese girl? It is you who flatter me now. You have been finding out all about me. I would never have believed that I might arouse your curiosity. Well now, you are clearly satisfied, but it is time I went home. Wait, you wanted to know if I had come across any wonders during my long travels. No, she didn't. She didn't ask her it. But if, I, if you permit, I will give you one of them. You are making fun of me again. If I kiss the sky for you, will you consent to believe me when I say that I have loved you from the first moment I saw you? So be it, Marco. Kiss the sky and I will believe you. But please spare me your old-fashioned express expressions meant for brainless young girls. And to think that while I was away I almost forgot that there is nothing to equal the temperament of an Italian woman. Marco. Very well. I shall say nothing. Let us together watch the day fade away. Then, for you alone, shooting stars will rain from the heavens. What do I give for the firework? No. What do I do with it, then? One of these. Well, clearly, I want to put it around here somewhere. Promised her a shower of stars, and I do not want to disappoint her. No, I don't. What do I do with this then? Yes. Place it on the windowsill. Yes. I'll be right back. I just need a, I just need a candle. I do not need anything else. What do you mean I don't need anything else? I need. I need to light the firework. Do we start the? I'll it. Sorry, I just need this. Excuse me. Whoosh. It is wonderful, Marco. You're a true magician. Sadly not. A Chinese invention. Whenever great celebrations are given by the Gaunts, and I think, if memory serves, it would have been later editions by Italians. Now, I hope you believe me, madam. Come back and sing beneath my windows in spite of my clumsy efforts to woo you. I've always sung here and I have no intent. Right. Do I go through here? My, uh, Marco, tell me that you had nothing to do with that explosion. Gently does it, my friend. One cannot make stars rain down without causing a little commotion. I hope nobody will suspect that you are behind it. She will say nothing, I assure you. I think she shares my feelings, my friend. If you say so. <laughs> if you say so. Whatever. But in the meantime, before she comes back, could you tell me the rest of your story? I believe you are about to meet the Great Khan. Indeed, after having spent the night in the yurt, and without being able to see the young woman who had so enchanted me again, we left the districts of Kambalu and made for the palace. Kublai Khan, who already knew my father, received us with all honours. Isn't it... I don't know why I'm thinking it's an E. I don't know. Even though our gifts were modest, he seemed to greatly appreciate them. In particular, the sacred oil, which he gave to his first wife, an intelligent woman most interested in our country's custom customs. I kept a low profile during the audience, but just as we were thinking of taking our leave, the great Khan seemed to want to make my acquaintance. Stay a moment, I beg you, my lord Marco. I know your father well, but what I have heard of you has aroused my curiosity. At your service, your majesty. It is said that you learned to speak Mongol and Chinese during your travels. That is correct, your highness. How would he know this? This is like the big trap. Ugh. That is correct, your highness. It seems to me that one cannot understand a people without studying their language. And whereas my father underrook, so undertook so many journeys in order to trade, it was the desire to discover the world and the people who shape it which was the motivation behind my departure. Hmm. I like your way of thinking, and I need some new blood in my service. I will do everything your majesty dictates. My empire is immense and overflowing with riches. What better way for you to explore it than to become one of my ambassadors responsible for tax collection? Marco, do you want to become an accountant? No, no. I want to explore the world. Become a tax collector. And so it was that I entered into the service of the most powerful man in the known world. The taxes that he received were brought from all the provinces of his empire, 
as well as the dependent kingdoms as far as the capital Kambalu. Right. Place the resources and the means to get them. So that's obsidian there. Uh, maybe ivory from here. Offer resources. Oh, that's the, oh, that's transport. Right, so ivory then. That's where there are elephants. Um, it seems a bit weird. It feels almost like I'm meant to have gone through all these regions and. Or maybe I meant to have. Or like, how am I meant to know this? Like rice, I assume, is going to be from here. And. Asbestos. Okay, so this is stuff that I meant to have picked up. Fur. From the northern plains. Rice. Uh, wheat. So there. So that means that's from there. Validate. Oh, I need to put everything in first. And then I've got six. That's a bit weird. Camel, I would assume from there. Assuming you're from there. Ship. So we have a couple of ships. You, I would assume, from the north. Elephant. That, and then that. Validate. Two resources are incorrectly placed. Um, I assume these are correct then. Right, these three are definitely they're definitely right. So it's silk. Silk's in the, is in China though, unless these are the other way around. Four resources incorrectly placed. So these, correct. So then it must be these two then. Hooray! And so, so we knew that. Okay, we knew that, that was there. We'd been told about fur, and then at that point, just following guesses. That I uh, and so it was. In, and elephants are here. So, for the Khan, that I discovered the extent of his empire and its riches. Yes. By the end of listening to you, I have the impression of watching the images of your travels pass before my eyes. It is rather as if I were accompanying you around the world, doing really weird puzzles that are barely puzzles in some ways. That would have delighted me as it was a time when, despite the enormous task which was incumbent on me, I often felt very alone. So your father did not go with you to collect the taxes? No. After a long life of travelling, I think he was tired and missed Venice. He had already left when I received the order to return at once to the Great Khan's palace. Kuvli's Prime Minister Ashmat had just been found murdered by one of the Emperor's right-hand men. This man was so angry that he preferred to be put in charge of finding out about the affair in his name. To p that he preferred to put me in charge of finding out about the affair in his name. Right. Marco Polo, I am so relieved that you were able to come so quickly. The man who killed Ashmat swears that Ashmat was about to betray me. If he is telling the truth, I owe him a great deal. If he is lying, he deserves the worst of deaths. We found this strong box hidden in Ashmat's office, but nobody knows how to open it. Perhaps it contains the proof of his innocence or guilt. The news has already spread and my people are waiting for justice to be done. I must pronounce the sentence at dusk. It is imperative that you unravel the mystery of the strongbox before then. May it be so. Strongbox. Okay, so I pull these out. That needs to be a big one. So I assume we're just trying to kind of think all these together, are we? I to put, no, I want a little one on. You want a little one there. Right. Okay. So that's that bit. Huh, but then this isn't working now. Huh. Oh, am I meant to move these? So 
That pulls that back up. Oh, have I used all of the ones I meant to use? I wonder what I meant to actually do with this is the problem. Oh, I think I know what I meant to do at this point. I need to... There's a point on these that lets me move them, but I don't know what it is. Help. Yes. Use small bloating gears, guide the vertical cogs. Red wheel, one over to free X, blue button. Okay, that was not useful. To the blue button. Yeah, right. Oh, I see. This is slightly puzzle. Essentially, pu slightly puzzle. There we go. Okay. There's the money and missive that I can't read. But I want to read it. The letter. The strong box contained money and this letter. Ashmad must have had a good reason to hide it. This letter was written by an advisor of Shikin Tokimu, Tokimun, who was organizing the Japanese opposition against me. Ashmat was passing important information to him about the movement of my troops. I do not know whether I should be glad to be rid of a traitor, or upset for having listened to him for so long. I thank you, Marco. Once again, you have been worthy of the trust I placed in you. Make sure you never make me regret it. Do not fear. I would never do anything to displease you. That is also what Ashmat said. Dun dun dun. The betrayal of his Prime Minister was a terrible blow for Kublai. But he still had people on whom he could rely, including you. Certainly, but I was but a foreigner, and it was possible to betray a man without meaning to. You intrigue me, Marco. What do you hint at? You will soon understand, my friend, but tell me, have you heard Miranda sing today? No more than you, I fear. You have a taste for irreconcilable love, Marco. You don't know how right you are, my friend. Right, to talk. Marco, my faithful advisor. You see, this is the thing, like, I'd expect him to have automatically come into it if you have to click on him to do it, but... Marco, my faithful advisor, I would like to have a talk with you about something which is worrying me. My dear wife, Chabi, is ill and putting pressure on me to marry again. My choice has fallen on Princess Kokachin, a wonderful young woman whose beauty is only equaled by her spirit and her gentleness, and is probably the person we met with the yurt, I'm guessing. Unfortunately, for some time now, she stays alone in the palace gardens, despondently holding to her breast a little purse full of multicoloured beads. Be beads? Indeed, that is what I am told. You are my faithful servant, Marco, and I want you to find out the reason for her affliction and make her my bride. But why ask me this when you could simply order the marriage? I am the emperor, but I am also a man. I want her to love me, Marco, and I am advised that, will, that you will know how to approach her. Eep. Oh dear. Princess of Kublai. Can I not, you know, go and talk to her? Oh. Hello. It is the young wo women. It is the young women from the fireworks. The young woman. Princess? Marco Polo. I thought I would never see you again. Neither did I, and maybe that would have been for the best. What did you say? You've been in my mind ever since that evening in the palace neighbourhoods. Perhaps you have forgotten me. Of course not. I searched for you for a long time. Now that I have finally found you, my heart is heavy, as I am here on a mission. The Emperor sent me to ask you if you will be his bride. The Emperor doesn't ask. He commands and controls. The Emperor does not want your hand only. He wants your heart. So he will have to cast a spell on me, because my heart belongs to you. You're going to get me killed, love. My princess, if magic is the only thing that can dry your tears, I am ready to travel around the world to bring you back a love potion. Oh dear. According to Kokachin, the monks from the Immaculate Glory Monastery are the only ones who know the secret of the potion of eternal love. 
This is getting weird. That is how I set off for Tibet. Um, hello? Hello, please forgive me for disturbing the peace of the Seville's. Ah, you are not... Perhaps you could help us. I, I cannot condemn her to a lifetime. Your cause is a noble one. Normally I would have strength to levitate. I can help you restore it. I cannot refuse your help, body. Right, what are we doing here? It must be the black pig that was line up the mandala. Is it the alternating colors puzzle again? Okay. Let me blue. Blue. Can't be blue. 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 Yellow. Yellow. Can't be yellow. Yellow. Can't be yellow. Yellow. Can't be yellow. Yellow. Oh, that needs to be yellow, though. Which means that's red. Which means that has to be yellow. Which means that's red. Which means that's yellow. Which means that's red. So that's red there. Yellow. Blue, not blue. Ah, no, that has to be blue. Because that's red. Uh, this has to be blue. That has to be blue. Uh, okay, so we've got rid of all the ones that have to be blue. So that has to be yellow. Um, that has to be yellow. So that has to be blue. Uh, that now has to be blue. Uh, we don't know what has to be there. Uh, this one has to be red. That has to be red. Um, hmm. Yellow. Yellow. And then, we'll, yeah, it's just alternate. It looks like it's going to just flip backwards and forwards like that. So, and then it's just yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow and blue there, so that's red. Yellow and red there, so that's blue. Blue and yellow, red. And then, ah. Oh, because that's that can't be like that. Oh, pants. Oh, and that can't be like that anyway. Right. I wonder if there's a way to... Thank you. Let's pick one at random. So, from what we saw before, is it looks like... Ah, no, it won't be like that. At all. 